Good morning slash afternoon slash evening everybody. I am Southpaw Racer and this is a super serious track guide to the Yas Marina circuit, the Emirates Gazillion Dollar Edition to the Formula One calendar. Was all that money invested in the greatest racetrack that could possibly be built ever? Well, you, you know that thing like when you read or hear something funny about a struggle or annoyance in daily life and you laugh because pain is the root of all comedy and all that, but then two hours later you're standing in front of the fridge and you just burst into tears because it's actually really depressing? No? Well, 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 the, 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 this track is like that. It starts off well enough, which, if you're familiar with this series, should be your first clue that something is wrong. A medium speed first turn that's hard to get right. Okay, I'm listening. Ooh, an edge of your seat kink leading into a nearly flat out sweeper? Elevation change? What is this sorcery? Challenge, flow, speed. Is this a miracle? Is this ugly duckling hiding a beautiful swan? Oh, oh, ha, <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, there's a reason this chicane leads straight into a hairpin, alright? If the chicane wasn't there, speeds approaching the hairpin would be high enough that there wouldn't be enough space for the correct amount of runoff area, on account of the giant fucking Ferrari theme park behind it. It's there because, according to the FIA, it needs to be. And when you're battling with another car in a race, it provides an extra opportunity to stick it up the inside. But really, really, the flow of this track is now traumatically broken like a character in a Don Bluth film. And unlike in those movies, the track doesn't get better afterwards. The preceding four turns build up this expectation in your mind. You exit those first turns and you're just like, uh, what do you mean the rest of the track isn't like that? And on lap one, fuck me, look at this. It's like Monza, but with falafel instead of risotto. When do I get on the throttle? Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Nothing matters, because you're going to fuck it up anyway. You loser. It's okay. It's a tilka straight. Now you've got time to cry yourself to sleep and wake back up in time for the next turn. I had a dream once while I was driving down this straight. I dreamt that some of the oodles of money spent on this track was used to... Uh, put another hill in somewhere, or even dig a valley or two for the circuit to go through and make some of these upcoming turns a bit more interesting. Then I dreamt that the old gods rose again and destroyed the universe. But I was still happy, because it was better than the reality of the last two sectors of this track. Whoa! The entire straight shifts to the left for some fucking reason! Ah, oh, come on. They had to make room for car parks. Everyone knows you gotta let the facilities shape the track and not the other way round. What are you, fucking stupid? What's this? A heavy braking zone? Never seen one of those before. What an original idea. This complex can't decide whether it's a double hairpin or a chicane. Make sure you get that snap oversteer on exit to make sure you're fully awake. Down the next long straight you go, which isn't a straight, because it's got a kink thrown in. <laughs> got you there. But you wish it would just keep on going, because you know what's next. No, Captain! This isn't funny anymore! Earlier on, you experienced the horror of a chicane leading right into a slow turn. Now, experience the horror of a slow turn leading right into a chicane! Why? A right angle left-hander takes you on a route running alongside the marina. Try to resist the temptation to vault the fence, grab a yacht, and book it out of here. You have a job to do. It's a callback to Fuji, guys! Angles! We love angles! We also love the absolute slowest, most excruciating 90-degree right-hander to ever be unleashed on world motorsports. Then you come to what shouldn't be the track's selling point and talking point, but in spite of everything, is. Look, everyone! Look at how cool our racetrack is! It passes under a hotel, and the hotel changes colours sometimes, and it's really expensive to stay in, and also it looks like a dick! Tourism... Please, my lord, enough with the sharp turns, I hear you say. Tough shit, mate. You got two more coming up, so eat up, swallow, and say thank you, sir. There's one. Pay an extra $29.99 for the neutral handling car DLC not part of the base content, and then a short run-up to a final right-angle turn that contains a leaking bladder of an elevation change on the exit. Oh yes, Marina Circuit. Never change. Actually do, because you're shit.
I said sorry it's the parents and I got on the ground and I sounded as best as I